The instant feedback mode is very similar in concept with the server mode in that data is retrieved only in portions that are required to populate the view and data aware operations are performed on the server. Instant feedback mode is, however, an asynchronous server mode. The difference lies in how the grid behaves when data is being retrieved and populated. When a user scrolls through the records in server mode, the grid first waits for the partial data to be fetched before populating the rows. Depending on the data source performance, the volume of data being retrieved and the network connectivity, the user may notice a considerable control freeze. Instant feedback mode addresses this issue by continuing to respond to the user's actions while the data is being retrieved. The user can continue to scroll through records and even resort, regroup, and refilter the control's data. If required, the control will cancel the previous request and initiate a new request to the data source. To provide visual feedback, the instant feedback binding mode also includes options to display an animation indicating the status of operations within the grid. In this video, we'll take a look at how to implement the instant feedback mode in the DX grid control for Silverlight. So let's get started. Start with a new Silverlight application project. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop a new grid control onto the page and make sure it fills the entire area. Right click and add a new class. This will be the view model for the application. Before proceeding, I'll make sure the XPO assembly is referenced. And I'll go ahead and add the required using statements. These are systems.servicemodel, devexpress.xpo, and devexpress.xpo.dp. Now within the view model, I'll add the code to create the instant data source. So here, I'll add the code to define what the data source looks like, then specify the location of the data source, the XPO service, and to learn how to create this XPO service, you may refer to the following blog post. So, let's take the application and save it and switch over to the designer. I'll select each column using the design time feature of the grid and delete them. Switch over to XAML. And I'll specify the data context of this user control. To do that, I'll use the local reference and specify view model. You can see that view model is missing or view model cannot be found. So I will rebuild the solution so it can locate view model within the application assembly. Next, I have to set the item source property of the grid control to the instant data source which I created in the view model. Again, I'll rebuild the application so the instant data source is visible to the XAML markup. And I'll set the auto populate columns property to true, so columns are automatically created for the data source. I'll also set the auto width property of the table view to true, so the columns are automatically resized to fill the entire width of the window. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see it in action. Here's the Silverlight grid control populated with data. You can see as I scroll up and down, the data is quickly downloaded from the servers and populated without any lags within the application. The application continues to remain responsive regardless of the amount of data operations that take place over the network. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.